What's going on guys, Overman back again. So we've been hearing about The Division for quite some time now, and for a while people were saying that this game was going to be the next big thing. But it seems like over the past few months, people have grown to become more and more skeptical of The Division for a variety of reasons, including Ubisoft being behind it, graphical downgrades, and other forms of false advertisement. So today I'm gonna clear it all up for you guys by giving you my 420% totally objective infallible thoughts on the beta. So let's get into it. The Division is an open world game set in New York City, specifically in the borough of Manhattan. And as a resident of New York, this game gets my seal of approval in terms of the environment. I think the devs did a good job of recreating Manhattan and it definitely feels immersive, especially for a person like me. I also really like the art style of the game. I like the design. I think it looks pretty darn good, even on the Xbox One. Now, The Division is a cover-based shooter, meaning that you will get wrecked if you're standing out in the open trying to shoot bad guys. The gunplay is is all right all the guns i've tried do have a good amount of recoil which is great but the weapons seem to lack that mm, punch and heft that guns have in other games i know it sounds silly but if you've played the beta and a few other shooters you'll understand what i mean but that's the thing this isn't just another shooter it's supposed to be an rpg with shooter elements as such you'll have an assortment of skills weapons and armor to choose from now the weapons and armor will be of different rarities like they are in destiny so so far in the division I've encountered whites, greens, blues, and yellows. In addition to the rarities, there's a bunch of different weapon types as well. You've got assault rifles, submachine guns, LMGs or HMGs, I'm not sure, sniper rifles, pistols, shotguns, and more, I think. And in addition to the various weapon types, you have access to a variety of mods that you can equip to each weapon. You've got grips, sights, extended clips, suppressors, laser sights, and more. And I definitely like all of that variety because, of course, it gives the game depth and replayability and adds an element of strategy to it, which is always welcome. And the division is split into two modes. There's the regular PvE open world, and then there's the dark zone. So let's start off with the regular PvE open world. And here, in the beta, there's not much to talk about. There's like one mission and a few side activities, and they all suck. The PvE was incredibly boring, the characters were bland and generic, and the AI that you fight really aren't the brightest things in the world. Some of them will take cover and shoot at you, and others will just run straight at you with a baseball bat. On normal difficulty, the only interesting thing that the AI will do is occasionally throw a grenade at you in an attempt to flush you out of cover, but it's really not that hard to deal with. When I replayed the mission at a higher difficulty, I noticed that the AI was a bit smarter. A few of them moved from cover to cover and then tried to swoop around to flank me, which I thought was pretty cool. The problem that I encountered with the higher difficulty mission was that the enemies were just straight up bullet sponges, so it took a lot to drop the guys that were in front of you, and because of that, it was tough to stop the dudes that are trying to flank you from behind, but it can be done, especially if you have a higher level character with some good gear. Oh, and bullet spongy enemies are not exclusive to higher difficulty missions either. In the normal version, you'll encounter elites. What are elites? Well, in the beta, they're the same hoodie wearing bad guys that you normally fight, except these guys have a yellow hat health bar. Ooh. This really breaks immersion for me because there's no visual cues to tell you why this guy is able to absorb so much more damage than the other guys. It's just silly. It doesn't make sense. I don't know why they didn't just strap a bulletproof vest or some, you know, big beefy armor like they do in other games. It's just silly. I don't know why they didn't do something else. Hopefully in the full release, these elites will look different from the regular baddies, but who knows. Overall, I really didn't like the PvE stuff in the beta. It just wasn't very fun for me. The only thing that I enjoyed was getting loot. I got this blue LMG which was pretty cool, but if there's one thing that Destiny taught me, it's that good loot doesn't make up for a boring campaign. Now I know some people will make the argument that this is just a beta, it's gonna be so much better in the full release and yada yada yada, and yeah that's possible especially when we see the full story and unlock more abilities and weapons and whatnot, but what I'm saying is, what I saw in this beta does not inspire confidence in me. Also, I'd like to point out that many people made the same argument for Destiny after playing the beta and yeah, you know how that turned out. Now, I'm not saying that The Division will go down the same way that Destiny did because that'd be unfair. I didn't play the full game. It could be different. Who knows? But that's the thing. We don't know, so don't get your hopes up. But anyways, let's talk about the other part of The Division, The Dark Zone. The Dark Zone is both a PvE and PvP area. 
within it, you'll encounter tougher AI enemies, vendors offering loot in exchange for Dark Zone currency, and of course, other players. Walking through the Dark Zone is a lot like walking through the hood. If you get caught lacking, you're done, especially if you got some loot on you. And that's because any contaminated loot that you pick up from the AI enemies in the Dark Zone will be dropped whenever you die. And the only way of getting that loot out safely is by heading to an extraction zone and calling in a helicopter to pick it up. The coolest thing about the Dark Zone is the human interaction. Every time you see someone, you've got to wonder, is this person going to attack me? Are they going to try and make it seem like they're friendly so I can let my guard down and then they can take advantage of me, which actually happened to me a couple of times because I'm a sucker. But not everyone bad. This one guy randomly attacked me for no reason and then a good Samaritan came through, dished out justice to that fuckboy, and then revived me which I thought was pretty freaking nice. But besides the human interaction and the vendors that will sell some pretty badass gear, the dark zone is kinda meh. Don't get me wrong, I really really like the concept of the dark zone, but I feel like it needs some work. First thing, there needs to be more AI enemies. There's simply not enough right now and as a result, that really takes a toll on the whole human interaction thing. Because people get bored and say fuck it, I can't find any AI enemies and when I do it's a whopping group of three, so I'll just go rogue and be a murderous psychopath. And that's cool and all, but if that's the only thing that people do out of boredom, then the Dark Zone will just turn into deathmatch and you'll lose that human interaction and it'll just become generic and boring. My last trip through the Dark Zone went down just like this because I ran around for a long time without finding any AI enemies to fight, so I said screw it, I'm just gonna fuck with people. And while that's fun for a little while, it gets boring very quickly. So in conclusion, PvE was booty and the Dark Zone has potential. Will this game be the next thing? I don't see it happening. From my experience in the beta, it will most likely be average, but I could be wrong. And as usual, I hope I am. But that's going to depend on what Ubisoft is bringing for the endgame content. That's the thing with these games. It's all about the endgame content. If the endgame content, which we didn't play in the beta, is good, then this game could potentially be the next big thing. But if it's not good, eh. It'll go down like the Taken King and people will hate it after a few months. But from what I played in the beta, it doesn't seem like it's going to be the next big thing. It just seems like it's going to be alright. But that's enough babbling from me. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not feeling too shy, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the division. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description box below. That's it for me though guys. Over man.